Hey guys, we are back with some more Eastside Hockey Manager, and we are in January 2000, so let's get this simulation underway, and hopefully we can go on a little bit of a winning streak here, because we did take a few losses in December, so that's uh, that's going to be crucial, is this January, and we actually have to assign the scouts, so let's assign them to the NHL entry draft, there you go, and uh, you know what, we'll, we'll scout our own team here. As well, because that's important. Yeah, there you go. Uh, this guy, yeah, let's sign assign someone to Adirondack. There you go. And this guy, we will assign to World Juniors. All right, perfect. And uh, now that the scouting is out of the way, let's get the simulation underway. And uh, should be a good month here, hopefully. So, career milestone for Islanders. Okay, I don't know why they're showing me that. So, game against the Coyotes. 4-1, to one, perfect. That's what I like to see. Eisman attitude praise. Yep, build up praise. All day. And uh, let's let's see what happens here. Nothing, go, nothing, uh, nothing too eventful. Uh, do we have a game? No, we don't. Okay. And let's see. Scouting, scouting. Uh, oh, a trade. So the Coyotes give up Darren Quint and Radislav Su Suki. I guess, Suchi? I don't know. <laughs> and the rights to Mikhail Kuleshov. And the Islanders give up Claude Lapointe and Chris Beach. Okay. Uh, the Coyotes place Rob Ray on Ray. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Rob Ray on waivers. I almost said Rob Rob Ray on ravers. That's that's a bit of a tongue twister there. Had to think about that one. But there you go. A five to four win against the LA Kings. There you go. Uh, trade proposals. Yep. Okay. Those don't matter too much. They're not confirmed. There you go. Six to two win against the Stars. They're actually in first place. So that's a big win right there. Big win. Nothing too eventful. Uh, we didn't have a game there either. Let's see. When's our next game? On the 9th against the Blackhawks. Okay. Uh, World Juniors. Offensive Player of the Week is Theo Fleury on the Flames. Uh, player of the Week is Theo Fleury as well. Defense Player of the Week is Yui Krupp. Very nice. Okay. So, praise for Devils Defensemen. Uh, not concerned about them. Update for NHL scouting. Yeah, yeah, all this. Uh, Hurricanes and Capitals trade. Uh, Hurricanes unload Jeff Hurama and a first round pick for Kale or Kale, however you pronounce it. <laughs> Johansson. And there you go. And let's see. Let's see what happens here against the Blackhawks. Let's see. Can we win against Blackhawks? No, we don't. Okay. All right, that's, that's one loss. If we get another loss, I might pull um, Osgood. All right, so. Well, juniors. Well, juniors. All this stuff. Yeah, whatever. Uh, proposals. And Erickson resumes practice. Very nice. Okay, so we'll get him back in there instead of... Where is he at? Where is he at? Uh, Kuznetsov. There you go. Ask coach. Keep Osgood in there. And a game against the Blues, back to back against the Blues, on the twelfth and thirteenth, actually. Any trades? Uh, nope. All is good. And uh, any more, any uh, any trades here? Nope. Okay. Versus the Blues, five to three win. Very nice. Okay. And. Pavel Datsuk triggers his bonus. He got 15 assists and he collected $45,000. Man, if I... <laughs> $45,000 for 15 assists. Okay. Let's see. Getting against the Blues. All right. 6 to 4. Perfect. Perfect. And any trades? Anything eventful? Nope. Not really. All right. And player of the week is Robert Reichel on the Islanders. Offensive player of the week, Sergei Zolt Zoltok <laughs> of the Canadians. And then the Flyers, John, ben, uh, John Van Beesbrook 
is the defensive player of the month. Uh, trade confirmed between the Ducks and the Lightning. The Lightning give up Garrett Bembridge, a fourth, and uh, another fourth for Ruslan Soleil. Oh, that's interesting. Uh, yeah, there you go. Uh, Lightning player on waivers. I'm just going to start calling them players whenever I... Like, players for their respective teams whenever I can't pronounce the <laughs> last names. That'll, that'll be a lot less effort. Uh, All-Stars Weekend will be on February 6th in East Rutherford, New Jersey. Okay, so that's, that's interesting. On uh, The All-Star rosters will be announced on Jan January 23rd. Okay, cool, cool. Hopefully some of our players make it. Uh, Penguins and the Flames made a trade. Steve Bajan and the rights to Blair Betts for Igor Kravchuk. Okay. Interesting. Let's see. Game against the Blue Jackets. 8-1. to one. Yeah, the Blue Jackets still aren't that great in this universe. Uh, let's see. Danano suffers injury for about a week with a twisted ankle. Okay. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Blue Jackets fans in fury. Uh, let's see. Markov under fire. Uh, anything else eventful? Not really. Okay, so we're gonna have to replace Danano on defense. Is he on defense or at forward? Yeah, he's on defense. Okay. Uh, Kuznetsov, get in there. There you go. How many games is I gonna play in a row? Yeah, quite a bit. I'm gonna put Mar uh, Miracle in there. Give Osco to break. Don't need him getting injured in playoffs. Got another game against the Blues. Jesus Christ. <laughs> we play the Blues a lot. Well, I mean, makes sense. They're a division rival, but still it seems like we play them in uh in chunks like batches rather than uh spread out you know okay so anything eventful uh doesn't look like it nope okay game against the blues once again we lose five to six in the shootout we're still in second in our division that's good uh let's see anything 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 eventful uh not really okay Game against Nashville, four to one, perfect. Not like we're really competing with them anyway, but still nice to get the win against those Western Conference teams, divisional rivals as well. And let's see, uh, nothing too eventful. And player of the week is Theo Fleury. Offense player of the week, Theo Fleury, and the defensive player of the month, Jocelyn Thibault. I'm assuming I'm pronouncing that right. <laughs> uh, let's see. Lightning and Canucks trade confirmed. Olaf Kolzig from the Lightning for the Canucks. Adrian Acoin. Uh, that's that's interesting. How good is Kolzig in here? Uh, he's 29 years old. So that's yeah, that's interesting. Interesting trade right there. All right, versus the Sharks. Ed, the Sharks beat us. 7 to 4 and they're 14th in the conference 17 28 and 4 and we're 30 13 and 6 so that's that's uh not a good loss right there well, I mean not that it really affects us but still got to win those easy games uh Red Wings players selected to the West All-Stars roster uh five players <laughs> Uh, let's let's see. So Osgood, Lidstrom, Shanahan, Fedorov, and Iserman all made it to the All Star roster. Very nice. Good job, boys. Uh, and Danilo is back from his injury, so we'll get Kuznetsov out of there. And Danilo in. There you go. Uh, I'm gonna put Miracle back in. And let's see. Yeah, he's played three games. We'll give him, I guess, three more. Or if, or if he keeps winning, you know, gotta keep the hot hand rolling. So let's see, anything eventful? Nope, doesn't look like it. Anything eventful here? Nope. Okay. Uh, we lost 4-3 to three against the Maple Leafs in a shootout. So we're getting those points. We're getting those points. Okay, I mean, can't complain. Uh, there you go. 4-2 to two win against the Flames. That's what I'm talking about. And uh, they're actually close to us in terms of wins. Uh, Shanahan out for a week. Man, all these injuries. Uh, we'll put Mark Rogers in there. Clear all lines. Put Miracle back in. And hopefully... Uh, oh my god. Kozlov out for a few days. Erickson out for two weeks. 
Oh, man, I can't even finish a thought without getting an injury. Uh, yeah, we're going to have to call someone up. So Kuznetsov for defense. And then from Adirondack, we'll call up Podomsky. Jeez. Yeah, the injuries in this game are a bit ridiculous. Uh, clear all lights. <laughs> man, we're depleted. Okay. What was I saying? I can't. I... Oh, man, this game has so many injuries. I, I, I lost track of what I was thinking about. Uh, rats. <laughs> yeah, it, it'll it'll come back to me later, uh, or maybe it won't. I don't know. All right, so Avalanche, we won against them four to one. Very nice. We're still in second in the conference, so that's good. We only have thirteen losses though, so it's not that well fourteen. So it's still not that bad though. I'd imagine there's quite the points difference between second and eighth. Oh my God, Kuznetsov. <laughs> <laughs> Player of the month is John Van Beesbrook. Rookie of the month is Pavel Datsuk. Good for Pavel Datsuk there. Uh, offense player of the month, Brendan Shanahan. There you go. And uh, John Van Beesbrook is the defensive player of the month. Uh, there you go. We're going to have to call someone up again. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, yeah. Scratch crews nuts off. Got to call up a defenseman. Yeah, these injuries are a bit ridiculous. Uh, <laughs> well, it looks like this guy is the only guy we can call up. Hopefully, we don't get any more defensive injuries after... Look, look at this. Look at this. <laughs> we have to put someone on IR just to get another guy in. Oh, man. That is the one thing I don't like about this game. How many injuries there are. And and you guys can you guys can see. It's a bit ridiculous. All right. We'll get... Um, this Miracle 1. Uh, yeah, his stats aren't that great. We'll put Oz get back in there. All right, so we're at February 1st, actually, so we'll take this time to check out the stats. Man, look at all these injuries. <laughs> Shanahan, Kozlov, Erickson, and Kuznetsov. Man, all right, so Shanahan, even though he's injured, leading our team in points, 50 in 48. Awesome. Krupp was 46 in 53. Eiserman with 45 and 44. Fedorov with 44 and 47. Man, no, like... I think only half of our team, yeah, less than half of our team has played the full season so far. Only Ward, Murphy, Malpe, LaPointe, Krupp, uh, Holmstrom, Draper, uh, Dasuk, and Busiev have played all 53 games so far. All right, let's check out the average rating, actually, too, because that, that's what really matters in terms of how a player is playing. Yeah, Potomsky, Rogers, figures, they're down there in the five. Uh, they're both backup players for a reason. Uh, that's a bit concerning for Butsia, but you know what? He's a rookie. I'll I'll give him a break. He's he's a two star rating currently, but whatever. Uh, hopefully Draper's rating gets back up there. Same with Kuz, well, Kuznetsov is a backup player, so that doesn't really matter too much. Miracle again, backup player. Uh, so Datsuk is up there at six point nine one. That's good. And but I mean, most of our important player, like most of our players who should be producing or should be playing well are playing well based off their ad average rating. So that's pretty solid. Uh, plus minus. Yeah, highest plus minus is Brendan Shanahan, Nicholas Lidstrom, uh, Fedorov, Krupp, Eisenman, Denano. Yeah, yeah, everything's looking solid. Uh, goaltenders, let's see. Goalie stats. Uh, yeah, Osgood's obviously the much better goaltender right now. Uh, 7.39 average rating, save percentage of 900, so that's still not fantastic, but he's doing much better than Miracle is. And I think we'll leave it off there, and uh, so any suggestions, leave them in the comments, and I'll see you guys in the next one, and we'll probably have the trade deadline in the next episode. See you guys then.